Hey guys, it's Jason here. Just wanted to let you know that today's video I recorded last week before I hit the 2,000 subscriber goal. Well, part of that intro for this video was me making sure you guys were subscribed and blah, blah, blah. Well, we're there. Thank you so much. So I had to re-record this intro. Let's watch the video. So in this video today, we are going to be talking a little bit about Grandma. Yes, we are back on to Project Grandma. For those of you who have just joined us on this channel, this is my 2004 Mercury Grand Marquis that I picked up, I've dressed up, and we're still doing a little bit of work to it. If you don't follow me on Instagram, now would be a good time to go over there and follow me, same as my YouTube channel, at Old Car Auto Guy. And you'll note that I was having issues with my charging system on Grandma. Well, come to find out, I tested the battery, the battery was fine. I checked the charging system, and it was only charging at about 12 volt. So I said, well, process of elimination, and experience tells me that likely the alternator is bad. So I called down to the local Napa store, they were the only one that had one in stock. They sent one up, we put it on, same thing. That got me scratching my head to say, well, maybe it's not the alternator, maybe it's something else to do with the charging system. So I put the call out to you guys on Instagram, and I got quite a few people responded. I did check a bunch of other things that you suggested to no avail. Then I thought, is it possible that we may have just got a bad alternator? Well, I called down, they had another one, they sent it up, I popped it on. I didn't even get to check the charging system. The two bolts that hold it in on the top, the holes were stripped. So I couldn't even use it, even if it did charge. So, <clears throat> I called up the junkyard and I said, hey guys, this is what I got, can you send me an alternator? Sure thing, no problem. Had one the next day, it was the wrong alternator. My word. So, get on the old clickety-click there on Amazon and I found an alternator for $104. It was a reman, I was taking a chance again, but it was half the price of the one from uh, Napa and the same price as the used one from the junkyard. So, they shipped one, we put it on, long story short, it's charging, the battery light is out, third alternator was a charm, uh, really, the one that I tried, and uh, we're back and running, in fact, on Monday night, my wife and I and a couple of friends drove about 90 miles uh, or more to see a Red Green concert in Fredericton, New Brunswick, and it was an amazing concert. If you ever have an opportunity to go see him, do so. It was great. My stomach was sore and my jaw was sore from laughing all night long. Anyway, so we do have a couple of projects coming up here on Project Grandma as well. And one is to put the winter tires and wheels back on. So we are going to be changing the look of Project Grandma here ever so slightly. So again, I put the call out to you guys whether I should go with the stock aluminum wheels with winter tires or go with the uh, P71 style black steelies. And of course, you guys unanimously said you should go with the black steely so we've got those sitting over here in the container so we've got to get them out uh, we'll get a fresh coat of paint on them and I've also got some center caps to go on there kind of to give you that uh, P71 cop car look uh, just to change it up a little bit for the winter season the second thing that we have to do is remember back when I was having troubles with my tachometer on the Chrysler Cordoba well we got that one working but I had one coming anyway just in case we're going to get the tack installed on Project Grandma so we know where we're revving at. And we are going to be doing a speaker upgrade on this car. This, it's got the door speaker on the driver's side. Um, is rattly and it cuts in and out quite a bit. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting four new uh, speakers on. And I will detail those probably in a later video. Uh, but we're going to increase the sound quality here on project grandma so today's video is going to be just simply this we're going to be giving a fresh coat of paint to those wheels and getting them swapped out with the new center caps so once we get some time here at the shop we're booked up pretty good today so probably later on the day but i'll come back with the camera uh, we'll, we'll give them a quick spray and get uh, the new look here on grandma so stay tuned in the meantime we still have the vw passat here the 2000 vw passat I've ordered all the parts that I need to get this thing to pass inspection, the winter tires, 
the uh, upper control arms and uh, brakes all the way around because I'm gonna drive this thing for the winter. So that again will be an upcoming video getting those repairs done. We still don't have a name for the project yet. Uh, I left it up to you guys in the last video to tell me what you think we should call it. We had some really good uh, answers come out there, but we're gonna keep them coming for a few more videos and then we'll compile to see which ones I like the best. We'll put the top three on Instagram. You guys can vote from there. So just to refresh your memory, it's a 2000 Volkswagen Passat 1.8 liter turbo and it's a wagon. It's an automatic transmission, so it's gonna be a little bit gutless and a little less fun to drive, but guess what? We're gonna make it fun. So here's two of the four winter wheels that we're gonna put on Grandma. So uh, I've got the other two out by the balancer. We're gonna get them balanced up and then we can paint them. And the reason why I don't wanna balance them first is because I don't remember whether or not these had any shake or anything to them. And I wanna make sure that the wheel weights get painted black the same as the wheel. So let's go balance those tires up. So what we're gonna do now is we've got some uh, brake cleaner. We're gonna clean the surfaces up, get some dust and dirt off of it, and then we can go with our black rust paint and we'll spray them down with a couple of coats, make them nice and shiny again. So let's get the tires changed. Okay guys, I am super excited with the new look of Project Grandma. Let's see it. Those P71 wheels and center caps sure do make a difference. Let's get a closer look. I don't know guys, I think I'm digging this over the Mustang wheels. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Should I keep it looking like a ghost car or do we put the aluminum wheels from the Mustang back on in the spring? And there we have it guys. There is a 2004 Mercury Grand Marquis decked out to look like a ghost car. At least that's what we call them in Canada. Apparently in Maine, is something different. Anyways, I hope you like this video. I hope that you're excited about the upcoming uh, projects that we're going to be doing on the channel with uh, the sound upgrade in uh, Project Grandma, with uh, all the repairs on the new Volkswagen Passat. I shouldn't say new, it's, uh, it's almost 20 years old, which we still don't have a name for yet, guys. I need your help coming up with a name, like I said earlier in this video, so that we can get that made official. Thursday nights on the Car Guy and Six Fan Show. This week it will be on my channel. And, uh, you know, we're getting close to the end of season two or 2.1 as we called it. And we'll be taking a little bit of a break over the holidays. And I hope that uh, we'll have something better, much better, Grant, Tommy, and I, uh, to provide you guys on Thursday evenings. Our show starts at 7 o'clock Central, 8 Eastern, 9 Atlantic Time. And if you want to tune in, there's a question and answer period, and we talk automotive chit chat. So if you're into cars, you're into uh, anything automotive, this is the place to come hang out. If you're a smaller channel, we can help you gain 
some subscribers, basically by teaching you some of our ways and what's been successful for us. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you, God bless. Let's do it again real soon. Hey guys, it's Jason here. Just wanted to let you know that today's video I recorded last week before I hit the 2,000 subscriber goal. Well, part of that intro for this video was me making sure you guys were subscribed and blah, blah, blah. Well, we're there. Thank you so much. So I had to re-record this intro. Let's watch the video.